Good morning, Friday. We are out doing four miles at half marathon pace. And then next week we have a five miler at marathon pace, at half marathon pace. So things are getting harder. I was just doing my warm up and I stopped the Garmin because I wanted to film this intro. We're gonna do these four miles at half marathon pace. We have to do them under nine minute miles, guys. Consistently, which is a hard part. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots Skipping breaks Feeling lost Feeling great Popping off Singing straight Never stop Never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say Yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause No I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say Okay, so I have the app open I had to do a half marathon at pace a half marathon base run which Al Higdon thinks it's 10.23 for some reason I just ran a half marathon in 9.22, so I don't know why the, the disparity in between data there, but we're gonna click, tap, and I think this was hard actually. It took me a little bit, somewhat hard, half fatigued. It was hard in the moment, but then I guess a little fatigued. Okay, and save. Let's see what it says, okay. Great workout, very well done. Just like a marathon, accomplishing a goal requires many steps and each workout like this is a step toward the finish line. Stay on track to improve your score. Okay, good. And now let's go to, so I still have a B guys. Overall B, past nine days, a B. I guess because I, <clears throat> I didn't have good runs when I was in <clears throat> sorry I'm losing my voice when I was in Denver so it's probably because of that over the past six workouts I noticed you followed my instructions to the letter not really but okay um, now we're gonna go to the plan and see what else we have we have 36 days left to train and let's see if it gave us more runs do we have this one? No. April 28th gives you only a few runs in advance. So we have till the 24th, I think. I don't think we have anything else. Let's see. 25th. Oh, we have the 25th as well. And the 26th, we don't have. So, yeah. So 36 days away. We're 56% done with the plan. Well, tomorrow. If all goes well, I am running with Ginger, my friend Ginger. You know her because of the Atlantic City Marathon. That's where I met her. Um, I'll link it up here so you guys can go check it out. She appears towards the end. Um, but yeah, tomorrow she's gonna run with me. We're gonna run together. She ran, I ran Atlantic City in two minutes, two hours, three minutes, and she ran in one hour, 57. So she's kind of a little bit faster than me. I'm hoping she can push my pace a little bit. Uh, but tomorrow I have to do 9.5 miles, 1 hour 20 at a slow pace, and then 25 minutes pushing more towards my half marathon pace. So, yeah, that's the plan, you guys. So, I'm gonna leave you here. I hope your training is going well. I'd like to know what you're training for, you guys. I am seriously considering. Um, signing up for the Atlantic City Marathon, which is October 22nd. And then, for sure, I'm gonna do Philadelphia Marathon. So, my brother's gonna come to run it with me. So, yeah, it's gonna be fun to run with my brother. Full marathon. <laughs> okay, guys, 
And I think that's all I'm going to run this year in 2022. The Atlantic City Marathon and then Philadelphia Marathon. I don't think I'm going to run anything else. But I might surprise you with some smaller race, like shorter race. Okay. Good morning. I think I'm going to be a little bit chilly today. Today is my long run. I have to do one hour 20 over 11 minute miles and then basically the other 25 minutes under 11 minute miles. So the last 25 are going to be at a faster pace. So I was going to run with my friend, friend Ginger. We are going to meet, you know, she was going to drive halfway, was going to drive the other halfway and um, we we're going to do the long run, but her dog had an emergency. So she had to take him to the vet this morning. Yeah, I hope he's okay. Yeah, so we might run tomorrow, but we can't do my long run because because it's Easter, so yeah, we can't wait. So we might just meet to do like four or five miles. Anyway, let's do this. I'm talking too much like I always do. I have my long stick, selfie stick for the camera. This action, I don't know why I'm doing this. And yeah, let's do it. We're gonna do a little bit of hills elevation just because Brooklyn Half is elevated the first six miles. Anyway, let's do this. Look at this woman ahead. She passed me flying, pretty much. <laughs> she wasn't happy and puffing. I think she probably does this quite a bit. So since I have to do 10 miles, I'm gonna do five and then come back and five. I'm almost hitting four. So curious to see the elevation later. to back there and now we have a little downhill and then another uphill so on the way back it's going to be mostly downhill so that's good it sort of mimics Brooklyn half so although I think they haven't published the course yet but I think there's a hill that's that people walk so my friend Ginger has run half Brooklyn half three times so yeah I'll ask her for tips now we're back so we have a little bit of an uphill undulating and then it's all downhill pretty much it's just the next two miles are a little bit undulating we still have 25 minutes of 
over 11 minute miles. So, yeah. Let's do it Civic and put it back, take trash back with us. Oof, oof, I needed that. Okay, according to Garmin, fastest mile ever this year. Well, we're in April, this year, 8.52. So, let's see, yeah, fastest mile guys, look at that, pretty cool, let's update and see what it says, 63 degrees right now, I was hot at the end, and I should have brought water with me, which is what I always miss, anyway, I took one goo, you saw me eating that goo and it was when I was coming back so maybe three miles so it just kicked in right in time for the faster finish now let's see what we have here training load in the last seven days 11.23 I am in the red zone here guys I overtrained I think Let's see what it says. Let's go on the app, see what it says. Okay, so I don't know how I did it, but I stopped right before the end. So I didn't do 9.5, I did 9.13. Anyway, I am moderately fatigued and that was hard. Okay, let's save and see what it tells us. <laughs> it says easy tiger you trained more than planned today remember recovery is paramount every workout has a purpose and it's all part of the larger plan yeah I went out too hard it's all good let's see if it changed anything in the rest of the plan so tomorrow I have a base run of three miles then we have the half marathon pace run five miles Monday Tuesday is a killer. I hate my repeats, guys. That's probably my least favorite workout. And then day off Wednesday, base run Thursday, Friday tempo run, Saturday another long run, 9.3. Okay. And then base run, recovery run, tempo run, and I don't have any more. Okay, so we are 35 days away from our race and yeah I have a 9.3 next week I thought that was a 10 for some reason maybe not okay well that's it you guys I'm gonna leave it here and right now I'm so over 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 everything that I don't even know what I want but I think once I settle I might want, I think I see my husband walking, walking my doggy. I might just get a big plate of pasta. And yes, that's my husband walk, walking in, in the distance. Okay, if you like videos like this one, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more. Run fearless, you guys.